On the 25th of June, 2023, officers were called by a distressed woman who apparently is being threatened by her intoxicated boyfriend. When they arrive at the scene, they confront both the woman and the man. Hello. Deputy Boyd, Logan County Sheriff's Office. Hi. What's going on tonight? Uh, so, I've been meeting Jeffrey. And Jeffrey. And we work together, Brown. Okay. And we've been working together at the same place. And tonight, I got off about three hours earlier than him. Okay. And after he got off, I tried to reach out to him. His phone was dead. And he rolls in at like 3.30 in the morning. And he was out with another girl. Okay. from work and he just started calling me names telling me I need to get my shit and hit the road and start walking and try to hitchhike back to Lima and I've been here about a month Okay. and I don't even he's not letting me use the hot spot on his phone to try to reach out on Facebook or anything like that he's just calling me out my name and telling me he's gonna throw me outside okay where's he at now he's in his bedroom okay what do you want to um, I just... Can you make contact with somebody and... Not tonight, I can't. But I'm worried about him physically throwing me out on the streets. We can't do that. No. Well, he's intoxicated, so I don't think that is going to register that right coming from me. Do you have... So, he legally can't make you leave. You've established residency at this point. So, that can't happen. Okay. He's going to make me lose my job and everything by by doing this because we work together and he decided to cheat on me and hook up with another waitress at work. So that being said, that he can't kick you out. Yeah. You probably may not want to stay here. Is I know. There, is there anyone you I'm, could stay with? No, I know no one here. Okay. I'm not even familiar with where a homeless shelter is for, for me to go to if okay. I have to leave. I don't know. There's no one from Lima who come get you or anything? No. I've tried to text a couple people, but with it being so late, my mother isn't responding. My sister isn't going to respond. I just, I'm, I'm not working with much at 3.30 in the morning. Would you like to give them a call and see if they would be willing to come get I've, you? I've already been trying. Okay. What's his name? Jeffrey. He's supposed to be, he's going to jail on Monday for three days for driving. And I think that's kind of why he went out tonight, to kind of just have some fun before he goes to jail or whatever, which is fine. But to come in after you just cheer on me and call me a dirty whore and tell me I need to hit the road and start walking and somebody will just pick me up. I mean, that's pretty low blow here. And I'm scared that I'm going to be physically thrown out on the street. Okay. Do you have your ID, ma'am? It's at work. Okay. Um, I left my purse at work, and he was supposed to bring it home with him, but he decided to go out instead. Okay. When did he go in? Um, he just got home like 20 to 30 minutes ago. Okay. Do you know your social back in the yeah. bedroom? Yeah. Um, like 15 minutes ago. Okay. Is there... I don't get paid for another week. That's what, he's really scaring me over here. Is he the, is he the boss manager? No, but the girl is. That he went out with tonight. Gotcha. So that pretty much does it for my job. Well, first things first, we're going to talk to him and explain that you do have rights here. And then we'll work on trying to come up with a plan for you. Yep. Okay. And he's right yeah, here? Yeah, he's in the, the bedroom. And does he, does he have any kind of weapons or anything? 4600 L27. The officers now have enough information and cause to enter the home. Knowing the female individual is in imminent danger, they confront the boyfriend. Jeff. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Sheriff's office would like to talk to you. You hear what you said? <laughs> What'd you say, Jeff? Getting a shirt? Jeff! Jeff! Sheriff's office, come talk to us! I can't hear you, you're gonna have to come talk to me! Get the fuck out, that's what I think he said. <clears throat> Mom! 
Come on, Jeff. Come talk to us. Yeah, we can't leave her here. No. I mean, unless she wants to, but we'll wind up coming back up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are you doing in my house? You better back up. Nope. You better, you better back up. Nope. I'm going to talk to you. Oh, yeah? Y'all better back up. Nope. Y'all better back up a little bit. And beat me up. And back up then. That, none of that needs to happen, right? None of that needs to happen because you're bigger than me, huh? You bigger than me? Are you bigger than me? Are both of you together bigger than me? What? And let's get it. What y'all want to do? Back up. Back up out my house. Now, we're here because she no. called us. And she That's fine. Let's go to jail house. then. Why? Y'all better fucking bandage me up. Y'all look tough. I bet I'm tougher than both y'all. What's up? What y'all want to do? We wanted to talk. We That's wanna, how serious it is. We want to talk. Y'all nigga shit. I'm a real nigga. So what y'all want to do? We were going to talk to you. I was sleeping. Y'all woke me up. Y'all in my house. Y'all trespassing. I like to press charges on you niggas. What's up? Okay. I'm ready to go to jail now, nigga. What's up? Okay. Well, you're going to go to jail. Let's get it. Turn around here under arrest. Yeah, 100. Beat me up, nigga. Y'all can't beat me up, both you two niggas together. Yeah, 100. Sniper team, nigga. Y'all about to lose this job over this shit. Nope. Want to bet? Yep. Alright. I ain't done nothing wrong. Y'all taking me to jail. Tell me what I did wrong. Right now, disorderly conduct. Let's get it, my nigga. You fucking bald-headed white boys ain't shit. Tell me some beat me down, my nigga. No what y'all want to do? No one's beating you down. Yeah, y'all arresting me in my place? Yep. All my neighbors see this shit, they arresting me here for nope. nothing. Walk me up for nothing. This Logan County fight for nothing. Because they can't whoop me, my nigga. Nobody wants to do that. You can't whoop me. Nobody wants to. Well, it is what it is, dog. I'm going to have your badge for this shit. Right. Yeah, believe that shit. Let's go. You ain't never had an easier. Let's get it. I hope y'all feel happy. Y'all put it, nigga. Y'all put it, nigga. You a put too, nigga. Okay. Shut up. Go and get in there. Y'all can't feel me, nigga. Talk. Shut up, both you put it, nigga. Fuck both you, wife. Shut up. That's my money. Don't touch it, neither, nigga. Okay. Yeah, okay, then. My keys. I need all that shit. You'll get it. Yeah, I know. I'm asleep, y'all, and they wake me up. I hope y'all feel happy. Alright. I need all my money. All my fucking money. Okay. Count it up. Bitch nigga. <laughs> you a bitch. Okay. Okay. As of this moment, the suspect is being arrested for disorderly conduct, which for the time being means the woman is safe. Little does she know that if someone manages to bail out the suspect, he could be back home within the hour. That was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. okay. I got it. If you want to start it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that didn't go how we planned. Yeah. Nope. Uh, we were just going to talk to him. We were just going to talk to him. You know where his ID is. What's his name and date of birth? Do you know that? Jeffrey. Um, There's even medication he's going to need. Okay. If you know of any drug use you know about, he's not going to no. withdraw from anything? No, no, he's just drunk. How often does he drink? Um, Is he an alcoholic? No. Okay. Definitely not. It's because he was going to go to Is jail it Monday. J E F F R E Y? E. E R Y? Yeah. He's going to take it out on me. I know. Jeffrey. Okay, so here's the advice I'm going to give you. The jobs, are jobs are a dime a dozen right I now. I know. Uh, I would be using your phone to try to make contact I with know. whoever you can and get out of here before he would be able to get released. So and here's, how long is he going to so be So here's the there? issue. We're arresting for disorderly conduct. Yeah. Okay. A it's, bond a, it's a misdemeanor. Okay. He, if, some, if he gets a hold of somebody, he could bond out in literally an hour or two. We can't keep him in jail. Okay, that's that's how it's right. I have no one did that's going to come and get me up four o'clock in the morning. You need to try. I know that's not very helpful, but you know, <laughs> okay. You know, I mean, you need to start making some calls. I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying. So, like, 
I'd be adamant. Does he like, have pick anybody? Up a phone call. Does he? Does, does he have anybody who you think would come get him? His grandpa, his, his, his grandpa mom and live? dad. They are all local all right. around here. Do you have any coworkers or friends? That, so Not I, around here, they're all in Lima. Okay. What is your mom's address? Um, she lives. So, I'll send a deputy to the house and have him knock on the door and wake your mom up and tell her no, call. Well, she's got my son. Well, um, I mean, and at the same time, works. we got we can't leave you here. I know. I'll, I'll I will leave, but that's not an option to go knock on my mother's door. Well, I'd rather just take off. You, if, you, if they're not going to answer it. the phone, well, if that's what you want to do, then you're allowed to do that. But so it's just not an option for her to to come all the way here and. I mean, I, I'll try to. Would it have to be right now that you send somebody there to do that? Well, I mean, I'm here now, so that would make it easiest. We just want to make sure you're safe tonight, because on the yeah. off chance he does come back in two hours, he's not going to be he's, sober. It's going to be this again, and I don't want to. I don't. I'd feel a lot better knowing you at least had a ride coming. Because um, I mean, it's like a 30 minute drive from Mount County. What about a friend in Lima? Um, I'm trying. I, his phone's here, so I'm turning on the hotspot. He wasn't. That's the reason I couldn't really connect right. to anybody. So. Get to working on that. Okay. I'll head in with him. Yeah. I'm just, so sorry. Get on the radio. I'm gonna hang out here. I'm gonna make a post on Facebook and reach out to anyone who's online. But my mom, she never responded. And any luck? Um. There's a couple of people online. Phones so I'm trying to call a message at the same time. Hello? Nothing. I'm um, out at Indian Lake, actually. I just got into it with this dude. Are you mobile right now, by any chance? He had to go to jail, um, and I gotta figure out something. I gotta get out right here. Alright, thank you. Alright, bye. He said send him the address and I'll see what he can do. I don't even, it's one... Lakeview, Ohio. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do about my shit at work. Like, I need to stay here until at least noon so I can no, get my... No, you can go get your stuff tomorrow morning. Have somebody take you there tomorrow morning and get your stuff. Who? <laughs> I don't... His Some... grandpa's been the one that been taking me back and forth to work. Well, you have a boss that you have as a contact? Yeah. I mean, call them and tell them what's going on and be like, I had to get out of a bad situation. Well, it's her. It's it Meryl. don't matter. Meryl is the girl that he was hanging out with. No, well, it don't matter. I mean... But I have at least until 7 in the morning, right? As soon as somebody comes and bails him out, he can get bailed out. Like, he could be back here in like 4, an 6, hour. 4600 L27 checkup. I'm okay. An hour or two. You know what I mean? Just depends how quickly everything goes through. I don't think anyone's with people knowing that he's supposed to be going to jail for three days, I doubt anyone's gonna pay his bond. They're just gonna have him do his three days. You know what I mean? Because he's supposed to go to mon Monday. I don't know. I mean the safest option would be for you to find somewhere else to go. Yeah, I'm working on it. I really am. All right, what I'll do is I'll have the jail call if he bonds out. Okay. So that way you know if he's coming back or not. And do you have my phone number as well? Do you have minutes? Yes. Okay, then what's your phone number? 27 to 29. So what they're going to do is if his bond gets paid, they'll call and let you know that he's getting out. So I'd get your stuff rounded up, and if you don't feel safe being here, I mean, if he comes here and he fucking threatens me and puts his hands on me, I'm just gonna call him, and then I'll press charges on the motherfucker yeah. because I'm kind of stuck in a pickle right now at 4:30 in the fucking morning. Alrighty. You know. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Luckily, no one came to bail out the suspect that night. He was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct after arriving at the station.